Hello, hello. It is day five of my creativity challenge. Hello, I'm Jen Pittabach with By the Shore Stamping, and we are on day five of our seven day creativity challenge. Hopefully, you've been with me all along, and if not, welcome. Um, I do recommend you go back and listen to all the videos. We've been kind of building upon each video throughout the week. Um, so make sure you grab your workbook. That should be in the email when you registered. And I'll put the links for all of that in the description of this video again, just in case you missed it. But today we are on day five and we're talking about color theory. So um, earlier this week, we made ourselves a little notebook to write down some color combos we love, to lay out some layouts we might wanna try or sketches, um, just doodle some techniques and things like that that we might wanna try. So we have our little notebook and now we're gonna dig a little bit deeper into color theory. So I am not um, a graphic designer or have any sort of uh, great knowledge about color theory other than my own personal preferences. However, um, in your workbook, I did do a little listing from, um, actually, I think I got them from a variety of sources, but I know HGTV was one. And then there was, uh, I forget what the other one was, but I was pulling um, basically the feel and the vibe you're, you, you get from a color. So it was another um, home decor type of website and I can't remember off the top of my head where I got them from um, but you can search it online and go really deep into this if you want to but basically when you paint a room that room is going to take on a mood based on the color and the thing same thing happens with your projects and your um, pages and things like that because when you're creating you want to keep in mind you know what is the coloring of this what is the feel of these colors so um, for instance if you're doing a red and black layout that's very powerful it's very dominant it's very um, passionate maybe um, it's just powerful I think would probably be the most thing so like a graduation page that might work really well right but a um let's say like maybe a 80th birthday party might not work you know what I mean like so um, I know a lot of times we pull the colors out of our photos when we're scrapbooking which is great but we'll want to kind of maybe put a little bit more thought into what those colors are saying so I gave you a little cheat sheet in your workbook um, but I want to do a little bit of um, help with that too. So my a little side task, it's not your challenge for the day, but a little side task for you today. Go through your Stampin' Up! catalog and kind of look at some of the projects. And as you're looking at them, like find a, find a project that really speaks to you, right? And then kind of, you know, jot down those colors and think, what kind of vibe does that give you? You know, what what does that make you feel like? Um, like, so for this one here, it's it's kind of soft, subtle, subtle greens and a little pop of red. It feels very elegant to me. It feels very noble. It feels um, very tradition. So, it, you know what I mean? So that you, when you look at certain projects, things are going to come to your mind as you're looking at the colors. So obviously the photos will lead into that feel of your page. Um, the stamp set you pick will lend into the feel of the page or the project, but those colors really provide a big base for how your project projects its vibe, right? So it's just another thing to keep in mind when you're creating. So for today, I want you to find at least uh, at least one new to you color combo and add it to your notebook. And then maybe kind of, you know, like I said, that little side task, um, find a couple of layouts, maybe pull those colors, the color combos that you really like, and maybe you can kind of jot down what, what's the vibe from this, right? So I think sometimes when we're creating, we don't necessarily think about this, right? Like I need a baby card. So um, I generally do either really bright cards because babies are fun and bright and bold, right? They just say, they just do what they want. <laughs> they don't take anything into consideration, right? Or I'll do really muted palettes, which is just kind of like that cuddly soft, you know, um, cuddly and soft probably is the words I'm looking for, um, vibe, which again, that works too, but I'm probably not going to do a baby card in black and orange, right? It just doesn't have the right feel for a baby card. And I think a lot of times we do these decisions subconsciously, like we don't even think about it. But I also feel like sometimes when something's not working for us, whether it's a card or a page or anything, um, it's because the color vibe is off, the colors are off, the 
the stamps that we selected is off for whatever the occasion or the, the documentation we're doing. So it's just another kind of thing to put in the back of your mind and really think about a little bit as you're getting creative. And I don't want it to stump you. Like, I don't want it to be like the reason why, oh, I can't continue because now I feel like I'm overthinking, right? Just, just be aware of it. I just want you to be aware of it. I don't want you to change anything about your process or what you're doing. I just want you to think a little bit more about how that color plays into your mood. Is it giving the right mood? Um, is, it, there, is there a better color? So it's just something to think about. The other thing I put in your workbook is um, the this link. This is a link right here. It says the color lab. And it's if you have a lot of Stampin' Up! colors, both retired and current, this website is really awesome. So you go to the website and along the side is all of the Stampin' Up! colors, like from ever, <laughs> all the colors. And you can either like, so say you were using, you're like, oh, I really want to use Bermuda Bay today. I want to use that color. Um, but I don't really know what to pair it with right so you can pick bermuda bay from the side and it pops it up to the top and then you can hit search and it will put all the color combos that have bermuda bay in it and then you can kind of scroll through those palettes and be like this is the vibe i want this is too dark dark this is too light this is too bold you know what i mean so and sometimes you, i mean you could there's five colors in there so you can actually even go in there and just hit search and it will give you random ones like a surprise me i think uh, is what it says or you can pick like say you know you want to use fall colors um, so you're going to pick Rich Razzleberry, um, Crushed Curry, and, um, I don't know, Cajun cra Craze or something. So you put those three in and then hit search, it will give you um, additional color combos um, to pair with that. So when you want more than like a handful of colors, you know, so if you want more than two colors or more than three colors, because sometimes it can be tricky to put too many colors together. Um, so that's a great way to do it. Or the other thing too, is a lot of times I'll just put in, you know, whatever color is that I really want to focus on and then hit search and it will bring up all sorts of color combinations. So I might not use all five in the color combo, but I might use, I'd be like, oh, I really love Bermuda Bay and Coastal Cabana together. I'm gonna do a card with that. So it's just a really good place for you to kind of see the, the feel of colors together and see, and that's another good task, right? When you're doing, going in there and you're picking some color combos, what does it make you feel? Does it make you feel regal? Does it make you feel, um, excited or happy or you know whatever whatever those emotions are but you can kind of flip through those colors and see the vibe that that project is going to give if you use those colors so that's my little tips for you today on color theory i would love to know your tips and tricks i know some of you have posted your color wheel from stampin up that's very handy but if you don't have that this color lab link is going to be your best friend i suggest you bookmark it so you can find it again. It's a really great little link. And um, don't forget to pick a new to you color um, scheme, whether that's two colors, three colors, five colors, whatever color scheme you wanna use. But make sure you pick that out and put it into your inspiration notebook from earlier this week. Go ahead and share it in the group. And if you want some bonus point, go ahead and make a project with it. Let's see it, right? So we wanna see your color combos and um, we wanna see those projects too, if you want to share that as well. All right, you guys, thanks so much for following along with me this week. I've been having so much fun. I hope you are too. And we are not done. We've got two more days left. So I will see you again tomorrow for day six. Bye for now.